Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you worried that you can't handle the rigor of being a student athlete at the college level? Or do you just want to learn more about what it takes to be a successful student athlete? If you answer yes to either of those questions, you came to the right place. Because here, we're going to be discussing the pros and cons of being a student athlete. I just finished my freshman year at Lehigh University playing on the women's tennis team. So I'm going to give you guys an insight on what it's like, the good and the not so good, at playing at the college level. Now please note, this is just my opinion and the notes that I've gathered from my experience as being a D1 tennis player at Lehigh University. This can definitely vary for the university you play for, the division you play for, or the sport you play in general. So none of this is set in stone whatsoever. However, I do believe that it gives a good overall view on what it's like to be a student athlete. All right, that's it for the intro. So now let's actually dive in to the pros and cons. First, we'll start with the pros because why not start on a good note? So first off, we have the financial aspect of it. So we mostly know that Division 1 and 2 schools give out a majority of the scholarships, with D3 schools not really giving out any athletic scholarship. With Division 1 and 2 schools that do give partial or full scholarships, that can really lessen the financial burden. Taking this into consideration is what many families do, as financial aspects can be the main reason that some people do choose to pursue an athletic career. So the second pro for many student athletes is that you already have a group of friends going into college. You're going to have your support system that includes your coaches, your teammates, faculty, staff, or anybody that's involved in the student athlete portion of your university. Now many students who aren't student athletes struggle when it comes to making friends at the beginning and they rush to find their group because they don't want to be alone. But as us student athletes, we know that we have people that we can already count on before we even reach the starting point of school. From my personal experience, my teammates have become some of my best friends and we hang out not only on the tennis court but also off the tennis court. We do other extracurricular activities together, we chill on the weekends, and then we also participate in our regular practices, um, weekend matches, etc. Overall, there's never a dull moment with them and I love them to death. The third pro is building connections. So not only are you building a support system that consists of your teammates, coaches, faculty, staff, etc., you're also able to connect with alumni. So for example, this past year, we did a bagel breakfast event where we called in previous alumni to come in and play some tennis with us in the morning before we played our match against another university later in the day. And this was an opportunity for us to connect and network with previous alumni that are the same majors as us or you know that we relate to and we were able to ask them certain questions that could help us in our career path in the future. The fourth perk that you have as a student athlete is the travel opportunities. When we're playing away matches, which are away from home, we're able to travel to many different cities or even states to play these different universities. And not only are we playing the matches, but after the matches are complete, we're able to travel and explore the city as a whole. For example, we might take walks near a certain park, or we might go out to dinner and try new foods. This is a great way to team bond and connect with your coaches and teammates at a deeper level. Personally, I found these activities very fun and relaxing, and it was kind of like a weekend getaway from all of the stress-filled work that you have at school, all your homework, exams, quizzes. You just get to take a break, just enjoy the weekend in a different city or state, and hang out with some of your best friends. Also, every school usually has a spring break trip where we go to a really fun location, and we stay there for like a week, and we get to just play different schools and also just explore that area, hang out with your friends. So for example, this past year, which was my freshman year, um, for spring break, we went to Hilton Head Island in South Carolina and it was so much fun. We got ice cream, we went to the beach, we went to certain festivals and overall it was just such a great experience that I feel like you won't really be able to get unless you are a student athlete. And the benefit of this is that everything is paid for, your meals, your travel, flights, everything is paid for by the university 
university um, because you are a student athlete and you are representing your university. In some years, some schools even take their student athletes to places like Hawaii and that is just a once in a lifetime opportunity and all you have to do is just enjoy yourself and relax and be with some of your closest friends. Alright, pro number five, let's talk about some additional perks that you get as being a student athlete. So number one, right off the bat, you get direct acceptance to the university. You don't have to go through the whole lengthy process of the essays and the registration and all these crazy things that you know everyone else has to do. And this applies whether you're a walk-on or you're actually receiving tuition assistance. Additionally, you also get priority when signing up for classes. So during registration time, when that time comes around, you'll get 15 extra minutes where you can start 15 minutes ahead and select all your classes and you know submit your schedule for the next semester this is a perk because not many sp students are able to even get the classes that they need so by you getting a head start it's almost guaranteeing you the classes that you need and one of the last additional perks is the recognition that you get as being a student athlete whether you're applying for jobs or internships or any of the above they really value that you are able to be a student athlete and manage the time, the course load, and everything, and it teaches you such core values that many different firms really value when they're looking at your resume, for example. Alright, for pro number six, let's talk a little bit about the life lessons that being a student athlete teaches you. Being a student athlete teaches you communication because you have to be able to communicate with your team in order to pursue the end goal, which is winning. With communication comes teamwork. Being a team player shows dedication and willpower to go through adverse situations. Being a student athlete also teaches you persevering, like when you make a mistake and you have to learn from it. Additionally, it also teaches you skills like time management, working under pressure, and problem solving. Alright, pro number seven, the free stuff. As a student athlete, you get free food, free gear, and free uniforms. So gear can include backpacks, duffel bags, etc. And the uniforms can include like shorts, shirts, dresses, visors, hats, sunglasses, water bottles, uh, tennis shoes, or you know, any shoes, soccer shoes, whatever sport you're playing. Um, and also, for example, in tennis, uh, free racket stringing, you know, things like that, which all of those things can really add up financially over time. So them giving that all for free is a really nice thing to have as a student athlete. All right, pro tip number eight is staying healthy. Being a student athlete can give you that balance of physical activity with mental exertion that comes with being a student. You take a break for your academics, refresh with some athletics, and then get back to your academics. Playing your sport is a healthy type of break rather than being on your phone or watching a movie on your uh, laptop. You know, doing this physical exercise not only helps you stay physically healthy, but also helps you use your brain in a different way. All right, the last one, pro number nine, is kind of obvious, but it seems worthwhile to point out, but it is the access that you get to the buildings and the health and the diet aspect. So not only do you get access to indoor facilities, outdoor facilities, dietitians, uh, different cafeterias specific for student athletes, there are also student athlete gyms, rehabilitation centers that are specific for student athletes only. And in order to get access to any of the ones I just listed, you have to be a student athlete. Now as a student athlete, yes, you have a lot of additions that regular students don't get, but it's all about using them wisely. For example, you might have a dietitian that can help you with your diet if you're trying to you know, gain muscle mass or lose weight but it's all about how you use them and if you're gonna use them to the fullest extent. All right, that's the full list of pros, so now let's move on to the cons. Let's get real. All right, con number one is the time commitment. Being a student athlete is a huge time commitment. It's almost like a part-time or even a full-time job. Up to 20 hours a week can be spent on your sport. So regardless of how that's spread out throughout the week, whether it's like two hours one day, three hours another day, two hours another day, 
Basically, it's approximately on average two hours per day and adding up to 20 hours per week. Now, 20 hours per week is the maximum, so that doesn't mean that you will be using all those 20 hours, but it really depends on the school and the level that you are playing at your university. As part of the time commitment, it can be taken up through practice, lifting, orientation, advising, etc. In addition, when recruits come to visit, you will be taking them around campus, taking them to your classes, and um, giving them a good idea of what it's like to be a student athlete at that school. All right, con number two is that it interferes with your academics. It can definitely take away a lot of time from studying for exams or turning in a homework assignment or any of those kind of things. You're basically gonna have no free time and you're always gonna find yourself cramming. It definitely takes time away that you could have instead used to study for a test and even if you have an exam the next day, even if it's so important and you need to study, practice or lifting or any of the previous stuff that I stated is not optional. So you still need to go to those even if it takes away precious time that you could have used to study and get a better grade on an exam. In addition, weekends are spent in other cities or states as I previously mentioned, so you will be finding yourself doing work in the hotel room or at the site while you're not playing. Sometimes you might even have to miss class, such as on Fridays if you're traveling to a weekend tournament or if you have a tournament during the weekday. So missing class, you're gonna have to catch up on the notes, You know, reach out to your professor, try and get some tutoring in. And also if you have an exam on a match day, you're gonna have to reschedule your exam to take it earlier. You cannot take it later unless it's different circumstances depending on the professor, but most of the time they make you take it a couple days in advance. So looking at con one and two, we can justify con number three because con three says that it can cause major amounts of stress and deteriorate your mental health. With all of the school assignments piling up, matches on the weekends, practice times clashing with um, extra credit opportunities or whatsoever, it can cause a lot of stress. Sometimes being a student athlete can make you question if you're really spending your time in a worthwhile way. That is definitely something to consider when you're deciding on if you want to pursue your sport at a collegiate level. But stress in moderate amounts can help you achieve better results. As I previously stated, being a student athlete is a huge time commitment. So when it comes to your social life, you can't expect it to be as prominent as those who don't play sports. Especially during the season, the socialization is going to be drastically low. You're, you're basically only going to be socializing with your teammates and your coaches or who you're surrounding yourself with at these matches. In addition, something that I learned the hard way is you can't just go home when you want to or hang out with family when you want to, especially if there's like a mandatory dinner or if there is a um, you know mandatory match. Like you can't just go home or you can't just um, you know hang out with your family. Like you have to still do the mandatory things that the coaches require, regardless of if your family flew all the way there to visit you or if you already booked your plane ticket to go home. So make sure that you schedule this with your coach accordingly and let them know when you plan on going home and make sure to check if you don't have matches that weekend or whatever dates that you plan on going home to visit your family. But don't worry, you do get to have fun as a student athlete, just in moderate amounts at certain times of the year, especially in season. And as a student athlete, when are you not having fun with your teammates? And in addition to not being able to travel to see your family or any of that kind of stuff, you're also not going to be able to study abroad. So if you do want to study abroad, I recommend you doing it in the summer because during the school year, majority of coaches won't let you do that. Alright, con number five is burnout. Yes, it is stressful to be a student athlete, and yes, it is stressful to just be a student in general. So burnout is a real thing. With all the stress and the time constraints that you're facing, it's common to feel like, I need a break from this, it's too much. Also, injuries that could occur while you're playing your sport or while you're in season can last you a lifetime. 
For example, I know some people who have gotten knee injuries and it still bothers them even a year or two after they have finished playing their sport at the collegiate level. All right, well, that is it for the list of pros and cons that I have for you based on my experience as a freshman on the Lehigh women's tennis team. Overall, I do very much recommend taking the opportunity to be a student athlete. Yes, it might not be for everyone, but take the pros and the cons, weigh them out, and see if you think it is right for you. Based on some of the cons that I told you guys, I have some tips for you to make it more manageable. The first tip is use your advisor. Make sure that you're talking to your academic advisor to help create a schedule that is manageable and balanced with your athletics. Make sure to not overload on courses or credits just so that you have enough time. And the second tip that I have for you guys is don't just commit anywhere and everywhere that you get an offer. Make sure that your values and your opinions line up with what the coach is looking for. For example, when I was looking at schools to be recruited to, um, I was looking for a coach that definitely valued academics equally as athletics. So talking to the Lehigh women's tennis coach, she told me that she does um, let us select our academic schedule and then she creates the practice schedule around our academic schedule. So this allows me to pursue whatever degree, take whatever courses that I need to, whether I'm in season or out of season. However, I know a lot of big division one schools don't do it the same way. Some schools say this time to this time is practice time. So you cannot put anything in that time block, whether it's academics, a course, um, a party, like whatever, none of that can take up that specific time block. Well, that's all I have for you guys today and hopefully I helped you guys, those of you who are on the edge of whether you should take this opportunity or you're just considering it if it's right for you, I would highly recommend that you consider taking it as it is a once in a lifetime opportunity that not many students even get. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.